Over 70 years ago, John Olin took acres of farmland joined by timber and turned it into a wildlife oasis in hopes of creating an ideal place to raise and train the best Labrador retrievers in the country. He called it Nilo, consisting of more than 600 acres dedicated to unsurpassed hunting, sports shooting, and gun dogs. Nilo was also Olin's model of conservation. Today, Nilo is still considered one of the most prestigious hunting and shooting preserves in the nation. We sit on 650 acres um, back in the early 1950s when Mr. Olin bought the property. It was pretty much just a overgrazed pasture ground. Uh, a lot of erosion, not much for, for trees or any kind of habitat for wildlife. And that was one of the great things that Mr. Olin, you know, he's had a plan in place and he had this vision to make this farm, you know, a, a hunter's paradise. It's so surprising because you pull off of a highway two miles down the road and you are now out deep in the heart of the country. It's proximity to St. Louis. Uh, I know when it started 70 years ago that it wasn't really close to St. Louis, but you know, I just got here in 25, 30 minutes from my office. Um, and it's like going back in time. Uh, this building that we're in, the Kennel Building, um, it's, it's very full of history. What made Nilo special for me in the beginning, before I ever came here about 20 years ago, was the fact that it was very exclusive. It was, it was John Olin's place to entertain, I mean, presidents and dignitaries and some of the best target shooters and dog trainers and just the who's who of, uh, of this whole industry, um, conservation, shooting, manufacturing. Um, and it wasn't accessible to the general public back then. Before it was always a, a private club, an invite only club. Um, but what I like to see is for us to get the word out so people can come experience what Nilo is. They opened up the doors to some charity events and they let people kind of start coming in and, and looking underneath the hood and everyone was just amazed. Uh, I mean, you walk around this building and the pictures and walk into the, the, the dog kennels with the trophy room. I mean, it's just, it's overwhelming. I think people getting in here today don't realize the allure that we all had 20, 25 years ago when it wasn't accessible to the general public. It is a very, very special place that I don't think the average citizen grasps. It, it's a unique feeling when you drive onto the grounds and you experience all the different things that Nilo has to offer. There's definitely excitement when you come here. There's also an expectation that you don't see at any other shooting range anywhere in the United States. The staff is what I think really makes this place tick. Um, if, even if you're a new shooter, if you're an experienced shooter, you know, a new shooter that's never touched a gun before, my staff, you know, they're great with them, trying to get them to break that first target or to kill that first pheasant. They, they just know exactly what you need to do. It's funny, if you're over the target, under the target, they'll say, okay, now do this. 
Nilo special because I think it's the premier sporting clays course in this whole area. And when we, when we told people we were going back to Nilo for our event, everybody was so excited because they're like, you know, that's, that's the best place to go shoot sporting clays. And whether you're here with some friends just shooting, you know it's going to be great. Whether you're here with some people that have never shot, you know that they're going to go over the safety, you know that they're going to provide them with guns, you know you're going to get provided with the best ammunition made, and you know that they are going to show you the best possible time you can. I've had the opportunity to bring customers out here over the years, and when we come out here, uh, all the business talk goes away, and we're able to connect one-on-one -on -one with each other and the outdoors, and the memories that are formed here are, are just lasting. Winchester Life is brought to you by Winchester Ammunition, the American legend. Winchester Repeating Arms. Winchester Safes. Birchwood Casey. Walkers. Folds of Honor. Shoot United. Make the shooting sports part of your life. This segment of Winchester Life is brought to you by Birchwood Casey. What you're seeing here is a 60 yard target with our new Winchester Bismuth. And the thing that's really telling about this is how nice and even the dispersion is of the shot at such a long distance. You can see there's no gaps within uh, goose size area here. Within that 30 inch circle, there's no big gaps where a, a duck or goose would have gotten away. And that's because of our quality bismuth and our special buffering. That buffering keeps everything intact and round and prevents that uh, bismuth from fracturing, which carries energy downrange better when it's round and aerodynamic, but also keeps your patterns a lot more uniform and tight. As a duck hunter and sometimes duck guide is shooting cripples on deep water where they can get away from the dog. That's a pretty good poke right there. That's what, 45-ish, 40, 45? Dog will make a quick, easy retrieve out of it and we'll be back hunting shortly. 20 gauge, one ounce, and number four Winchester business. That's good stuff, man. Sometimes when you're, you're doubling up on multiple species, like you're shooting mallards in the field and geese, you don't have to carry two separate shells. I can put a two or a four in a bismuth, and I can use it for ducks or geese and be completely effective for either one at any range that I normally hunt in. History is long, deep, and storied with Nilo. Uh, I love dogs and Labrador retrievers, and you know, if you've not ever, if you've been around Labradors at all, especially field trial dogs, and don't know the story of King Buck, you need to read read up on your history. This was King Buck's home. This you know, is kind of where a lot of this started with King Buck, right? You know, so I almost feel kind of strange walking on sacred, hallowed grounds where you know, like he probably walked right here, and you know and all the people that came before me, you know, and my hair is raising up right now just talking about this and feeling it, but uh, just the history behind it, you know, the nostalgia of it. Each one of my staff members, they have their own little fleet of dogs. Um, they're, they're the ones that they picked when they were a pup. They train them the entire time that they're here at Nilo. Uh, most of the dogs probably have never even left Nilo grounds. We welcome them here. They get trained here. They hunt, you know, six months out of the year here, always with the same guy. Good, check in here. Now, 
dogs are kind of like people. They kind of all have their own little personalities. You know, some of the dogs, I could give anybody a whistle, and as long as you're the guy blowing the whistle, they would follow you around. And then other dogs, if you're not the guy that trained them, they're gonna be looking for the guy that trained them. They're pretty dedicated to that, to that one person. It's obvious when you come out here and you go on a bird hunt, the dogs are second to none. The way that the farm is split up, we actually have six different hunting areas that we will take guests to. So even if you bring a, a large group, uh, we're gonna split you up into smaller groups, send you out to different parts of the farm. You might, you might hear some shooting in the background, but you're never gonna run into another hunting party. When we have our dogs out in the upland field, they're, there's constant motion. They're hunting, they're hitting the cover, trying to find the bird that, that's in that cover. And the way that differs from our duck hunts, um, during our duck hunts, our dogs sit right beside our trainer. They're sitting there, they're watching the birds fly over. When the guys harvest a bird and it falls, the dog does not go after that duck until that dog handler releases that dog. So the dog handling, in my opinion, is really neat to watch on our duck hunts because you see how obedient they are. The dogs wait their turns, they listen to their handler, and it's, it's a sight to see for sure. This segment of Winchester Life has been brought to you by Winchester Safes. This segment of Winchester Life is brought to you by Shoot United. Ever since I was a young girl, pheasant hunting has been the core of what we do throughout the fall. And I'm so excited to talk about the new Super Pheasant Diamond Grade and everything Winchester has done to try to make that experience even better in the field. Yeah, so we took the diamond grade technology that we have in our AA diamond grade that we recently launched, and you really take that hard diamond grade shot, plated, copper plated shot, that really was designed for sporting clays, and we just saw it crushing clays. And we thought, this has got to work great on birds. And what's nice is a lot of times when you're going out for pheasants, for me, I do a lot of late season hunting. So these birds are getting up further out, and we all know it's a lot more fun when you hit exactly what you're aiming at. Tell me about the technology of what makes this so good? Well, well, the key really is, you know, having great pattern performance at a longer range. You know, in those instances, those birds get up further out there, you want to be able to, you know, hit them at that long range. You got to have a tight pattern. Well, that diamond grade shot is, you know, starts with that 8% anemone. And anemone is really an additive that we put into the lead to help it become more hard. So that harder shot is going to reduce deformation. You're not going to get little dimples in the shot whenever you shoot it. And um, that's just going to help retain that velocity and retain that energy downrange. And it's great to see. So now you're going to be more successful and we all know pheasant hunting is so much fun. I love watching the dogs work. You get to be out there with people. You're socializing. It's really fun. In fact, a lot of times I say, why do I deer hunt? This is so much more fun. <laughs> they start at nine. You have a great time. Um, but I absolutely love it. It's a great thing to do with families, a great time to spend in the field together. And it's just so awesome to know that Winchester is constantly innovating. You guys always have it here and then you bring it to another level. And I'm like, how did they do that? <laughs> well, that's what we do. We, we continue to try to make things work better um, for folks like yourself. So if you want to learn more about Super Pheasant Diamond Grade or any of our other products, you can go to winchester.com. I think if someone just comes out here and walks back and shoots around a trap or maybe walks around the sporting clays and shoots around a sporting clays, I really think they're missing out on what this place is all about. Um, it's about the history. It's about the mission. It's about 70 years of doing the same thing and doing it the same way and doing it better than anybody. I wish I had the vision that someone like Mr. Olin had 70 years ago uh, to invest in something like this and purchase a piece of property and I'm sure no way in the world that he ever envisioned what this is now. His along with Nilo's legacy is one of hunting based conservation and stewardship. Uh, a lot of the techniques that were first employed here are now industry standard. If Mr. Olin were here right now, I think he would be amazed. I think he'd be excited and he'd be very proud of just the heritage and that this business has continued on. 
We have not lost the history of, of what Nilo is. We have kept that history, and yet we've still enticed the next generation to come out and want to be part. I think Mr. Owen would be very proud of what the farm has become. Um, with me being the manager, um, I just hope that I'm doing the job that he would, would approve of. I think myself and all my staff, we don't look at this as a job, we don't look at this as a company farm. We look at it more as, you know, this is, this is our farm. It is an oasis, and he, I think he would be very, very proud of what is here. Um, I think he would be very impressed because I have a feeling that a lot of the stuff on the walls in here was here when he was here. I think uh, if he walked in here today, it would be a lot like he left it. And I think anyone would be proud that uh, something has persevered for 70 years, but it is still really, really tied to the culture and the goals that he set out for it back then. This segment of Winchester Life has been brought to you by Folds of Honor, providing life-changing scholarships to families of fallen or disabled military and first responders. This segment of Winchester Life is brought to you by Walkers. Since its founding by John Olin in 1952, Nilo Farms has steadily worked toward becoming one of the finest facilities of this sort in the country. Today, Nilo will serve as the perfect place for the Winchester Life crew to take part in the fun, competition, and fellowship of their beloved hunting and shooting sports. Before hitting the field, the hunters take a moment to carefully choose their firearms. The kennels at Nilo have turned out world-class retrievers for decades. The dog work is as important as the speed and accuracy of the hunters themselves. My first pheasant hunt, I'm really excited and it's really cool to watch the dogs work through the field. So I've never actually hunted with dogs before, so this is a first for me all the way around. It's okay, you can shoot them all. It, you can, you can shoot, it doesn't matter. 10 more yards, he's no. in the brush. It's a, you did good. <laughs> well, that one didn't work the way we wanted it to. where that other one was. I think there's one up here though, come on, let's go. Midday sun is beating down on Nilo Farms in Brighton, Illinois, and the Winchester Life crew is putting on an absolute upland game bird hunting clinic. While the rest of the team continues to hit their mark, the Kiefer brothers decide to split from the pack for a bit of brotherly bird hunting. The mountain men are up now. <laughs> Let's see how you guys do pheasant hunting. We're not gonna sleep know. in a tent tonight, no. But, but we're gonna go with chase these birds now. They're gonna be moving. I have to pull my A game out. Down, third down. Chuck her fast. Gosh, that's fun though. Wow. We go down. Bird down. Good job, Raven. Dogs flushing is just perfect. So much fun. Over the years, the dogs of Nilo Farms have earned their reputation as some of the finest hunting dogs in the world. 
First time I've actually hunted over labs for pheasants. It's a lot of fun to watch these dogs. The hunters are leaving the tall grass satisfied from a great day of field work with friends. They're taking their spoils back to the house to take part in a treasured Nilo tradition, pheasant pot pie. You know, when people talk about Nilo after their visit, one of the things that they always rave about is the lunch. And you can't, you can't beat the pheasant pie that Tracy makes here. Um, I don't know if I've ever been anywhere else that I could order a pheasant pie. So uh, you come to Nilo, put pheasant pie on the menu, it's, it's great. The question that's always, or I should say the debate that always comes up is what food is better? Is it the fried chicken or the pheasant pie? I personally love the pheasant pie, but you know, it depends on what camp you're in. Uh, I may be in the minority, so the food is top notch. Winchester has proudly shown an unwavering commitment to conservation for over 150 years. With a pioneer spirit, Winchester has led the charge to preserve, protect, and restore natural wildlife habitats and treasured hunting traditions. Their efforts over the decades have helped make world-class hunting and shooting sports possible for so many enthusiasts, young and old. It's this commitment to conservation that will assure Nilo remains a special place for so many to enjoy the Winchester life for decades to come. <laughs>